Studio Golf. He pulled up on me early this morning, bro. I don't know where he came from. Came from, came from, came from. Bash the rapper. Yeah, what's poppin', man? You know, man, this motherfucker fuckin' with my nigga studio go. Yeah, me crazy me about nigga BT <laughs> and this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Long it's overdue. Overdue, man. Overdue. Long awaited. Long awaited. Overdue. So, man, what you been on? What you been on? Shit, I been fighting with the white people though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so the music kind of been on hold, but you know what I'm saying? It ain't went nowhere. I'm still making music. Shit, you know, a lot of politics getting in the way of shit, but you know. It's coming though, it's still dropping. All right. You know what I'm saying? Probably shoot a couple videos here soon if niggas start acting accordingly and shit. You know what I'm saying? Everything will go right. But you know, niggas still working now. Yeah, you feel like you feel like you backed off in the corner right now and some of your situations going on? Yeah, uh, shit, a little bit, not really. Cause you know, nigga, the best can get backed up in the corner. He's still gonna make it up out that motherfucker. So I really ain't tripping, bro. You know what I'm saying? I can take a little break. Cause I really ain't made no music in only like three months. People act like it's been a year, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be all right. I'm back against the road, but I'm straight though. Right. But I'm going to go ahead and hop in, man. I, Me, myself, I've been looking for visuals from you, man. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't, I ain't seen one in a while. <laughs> and uh, shout out to Spence. You know, I got love for Spence. But what's, what's the deal going on between y'all, man? Shit. It's like a... It's like a love hate relationship, you know what I'm saying? Shit, when it's good, it's good. Shit, I guess when it's bad, shit, I guess it's just bad, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, that come with the politics. I won't get too deep into this shit, but you know, politics came with it. Then niggas is rap beefing and don't nobody want to be in the middle of it. But, you know, I feel like niggas was picking sides a little bit. But, shit, it's all love. I ain't got nothing against the nigga Spence. I still want to work with the nigga. But, I really feel, I feel like, you know, it's bullshit, but you know what I'm saying? It's cool, though. So. I like do three, hello. I'm going to down from now, bro. All right, bet. That's my nigga, I do three, trying to come get an interview and shit. So, so you and Spence, y'all still in good standing, y'all still cool? Yeah, it ain't no, ain't no problem or nothing, ain't no beef. Shit, nigga, just really, I just want to work. I just want to do videos, you know what I'm saying? I can do videos with other niggas around here if I wanted to, but... Shit, I ain't gonna get the same views, same feedback, same quality. So, you know what I'm saying? That's just who a nigga choose to work with, but. Right. You know what I'm saying? As far as the videos and shit, I'm trying, bro. Everybody been asking me about it, I'm trying shit. You gotta ask that nigga, bro. He don't, he don't respond to me, so shit. You know what I'm saying? For right now, that nigga ain't responding, bro, so. Hey. So that's, you know? so that's basically the sum up right there. So y'all heard it first, man. It ain't no problems going on. Yeah, ain't no problems. Me and Spence good. Ain't no problems. Nigga just, you know, he fucking, he fucking with the GSO niggas right now, you know? So we letting them do that, Dougie. We ain't tripping. We ain't hating on nobody. Y'all niggas drop y'all videos because when I come back, I'm coming back. So right. I ain't tripping. So I've been uh, I've been doing my research on GSO. They kind of came up out of nowhere. What's your relationship with them? You know what I'm saying? Just... Some old niggas trying to get popping off a nigga name to me. That's all I feel like shit. They, hey, it worked though. You know what I'm saying? It worked though. They dropped that little fuck your band shit and they start popping out a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, man, I'm gonna be honest with niggas. They cool. You know what I'm saying? They got a couple niggas in there who can rap, but I really don't, you know, so I don't fool with them niggas, but that's more like some street shit. You know what I'm saying? Some rap shit. Yeah, yeah, other than some rap shit, that's more like some street shit. So, you know. All right. I don't really got too much to say about them niggas, but hey. So how, how does this, so it's not a beef? Is it a beef or, you know what I'm saying? Man, probably towards them. To them it is, huh? Probably towards them, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Oh, <sighs> shit, yeah, man. You can, I guess you can call it a beef, but you know what I'm saying? Really, it's a whole lot of other shit going on out here. That's like a back burner, you know what I'm saying? I ain't worried about them niggas. I ain't. Nothing. I go to sleep fine at night, you know what I'm saying? So I really want to call it beef. Them niggas ain't got me on my looking over my shoulders looking for no GSO niggas or nothing. So I mean I'm good, bro. I ain't really worried about them. They keep making that music, keep doing what they gonna do. I'm gonna keep doing what I'm gonna do, you know what I'm saying? All right. So man, I was just on Facebook the other day. I'm just scrolling down and I see the little homie uh little A just made a post like uh me and Bash talk, we decided to squash the beef. She 
did that have something to do with that or was that something different? I mean, yeah, a little bit. You know, me and like, I went to high school together and shit. It really wasn't never no beef, you know, and I guess the GSO niggas made a song or whatever. And she wound up getting on that motherfucker and said some crazy shit. Like, something about a sticky situation. I like, kind of caught a nigga off guard. I'm like, damn, you know what I'm saying? I'm just like, fuck, I ain't know we was beefing, you know, and I guess she had her little altercation with the GSO niggas or whatever. And then. I wound up talking to her through her cousin and shit, so we squashed all that shit because, you know, that's a female at the end of the day anyway. I ain't about to be out here tripping with a female. And yeah. then the shit really just petty, you know, so I really don't even know none of them little GSO niggas. Most, a couple of them niggas was fans before they didn't like a nigga, so that shit petty, though, yeah, so, you know, we had to squash that shit. We look, hey, I ain't tripping, you know, like, I really was trying to do a song with you, with, uh, at your studio or whatever with a nigga, so. You know what I'm saying? I'll fuck around do a song with her and you never know. All right. right. Okay. So, man, um, as far as, I mean, this, you're saying it's not beef and, and whatnot, but as far as everybody, you know, staying in the same area, we all in Tulsa. You know what I'm saying? Do you ever, like, protect yourself or fear fear for your safety while you out here, you know what I'm saying, maneuvering, you know, with, with all your name in everybody's mouth, you know what I'm saying? Do you ever get cautious out here? I mean, shit, you got to stay conscious, shit. You got to, no matter who, who talking about you, nigga. Got to gotta look over his shoulder. Really, when it comes to Tulsa, I feel like a, a regular nigga got to look over his shoulder. You never know who out to get you. Niggas want to yeah. rob you, kill you, anything. But shit, you know, I really don't... I really don't let what people, motherfuckers say on the outside really affect the nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm always move how I move. At the end of the day, I'm always feel safe if I'm out in track. I'm on the north side every day, you know what I'm saying? I'm good. North, south, east, west, BA, Jinx, so I, so I, I feel safe everywhere I go. So yeah. I'm straight, bro, you know what I'm saying? And just for the record, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, Glock band ain't no gang, you know what I'm saying? I'm from 53rd Hartford Ave, if you want to talk about gangs, but Glock band is not a gang. Niggas want to try to convert it into a gang. Nigga, the Glock band was never a gang, you know what I'm saying? That's just a group. I guess you could say a group of gang members, though. It's a group of gang members, nigga, who do music, though. You know what I'm saying? But it's not a gang, nigga. We just on some brother shit, you know what I'm saying? They trying to really, you know, get some shit going, nigga. And when we did that, you know, nigga started trying to separate us and put us into a gang, and it ain't no gang, you know what I'm saying? Free Bam Latin. It ain't no gang at all, nigga. It's just something we pushing, nigga, as far as music, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, man, just me and your relationship, I kind of seen you grow up, you know what I'm saying? I seen your progression, I seen your your glow up. Mm-hmm. So, so the point, that, the point that you at now, like, I'm kind of proud of you, you know what I'm saying? Just, you know, I, I am proud of you, not kind of proud of you, but do you feel like you run the city? Right now. As far as music. Right now, you know, I'm an honest nigga, I ain't gonna get my interview. And, and, and sugarcoat shit like all these other niggas right now. I ain't running shit though, you know what I'm saying? I feel like a lot of motherfuckers still, some people still look at me like that, but shit right now though, I don't, I don't feel like I'm running shit though, you know what I'm saying? Cause I ain't, I ain't able to do what I wanna do. I ain't able to record when I want, you know what I'm saying? There's just a lot, whole lot of fuck shit going on. Yeah. But when I come back, I'm gonna I'm have that spot back though, you know what I'm saying? So. Really, to me, ain't nobody running this motherfucker right now. Mm-hmm. I mean, niggas is dropping, but, and I don't be trying to sound cocky or nothing, you know, I just, what, is, what they say in basketball, analytics, ain't that what they say in basketball? <laughs> analytics, ain't that what, ain't that numbers, what is it? But shit, just look at the numbers though, you know what I'm saying, nigga, since I ain't just dropping no video on spent shit, nigga, ain't one video hit over 10, 15K, nigga, not, nobody video, nigga, since yeah. I dropped the video on there, nigga, three, four months ago, nobody video didn't hit there, so. Don't speak for themselves, bro. That's just me. You know what I'm saying? So, how, how you feel like you achieved those numbers, man? I, I know people post on Instagram and YouTube every single day. Only see 100 views. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, Mozzie helped the nigga, you know? Mozzie helped the nigga. But, shit, Spence helped the nigga too. Like, well, you know what I'm saying? By just being consistent. You know, I shoot a video. After I get through shooting a video, Spencer fuck with me like, hey, I'm gonna shoot your next one for free, you know what I'm saying? So, nigga, me and Spencer had like a cool little relationship, you know what I'm saying? He helped me, but shit, nigga, just self-promotion too, though. Nigga, I was promoting myself before I had, I've been doing this shit since I was like 12, bro. 11, you know, nigga, we used to do this shit at your house, nigga, so. Yeah. 
I've been doing this shit for a long time, bro. I just be promoting that shit, bro. That's what niggas do. Niggas will drop a video and share that motherfucker three times and expect it to have 2,000 views, nigga. I mean, shit just don't work like that. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta push that motherfucker yourself. And shit, nigga. Good music gonna sell itself, really. If the right. music ain't good, then answer your question. Yeah. So if it had to be a, a artist locally in Tulsa that you feel like y'all kind of neck and neck right now, as far as you know success, who would you say that your your biggest, I mean competition is for lack of better terms? Nigga, I wouldn't say. Nigga, I wouldn't say. Nigga, if we gonna say success, oh uh, that nigga ain't no rapper. Nigga, I was gonna say B. Lou. You know what I'm saying? I was gonna say B. Lou, but that nigga entertainer though. You know what I'm saying? I grew up with that nigga. He do his duty too. That nigga funny. Know, he funny. Too. That's my nigga. But as far as music, I want to say success. But as far as nigga who 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 I feel like is my neck to neck with, cause they being consistent, is Cuddy. Though. You know what I'm saying? He hella consistent though. You know he dropping hella videos. I don't think nobody. The GSO niggas is dropping hella videos too though. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna take that from the niggas. But really, that's all it taking. And toss it though, it's just really who dropping the most, you know what I'm saying? The more consistent you're gonna be, the more people gonna play your shit down here. Like, like, I don't wanna hear what you gotta say in at least one of the songs, so. Yeah. That's what's up. But now, uh, you moved to Cali, didn't you, for a little bit? Hell yeah. You, know. you, you back. Oh, yeah. Some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Some bullshit, though, you know, just, but you know what I'm saying? Shit. I mean, shit just ain't work out how it's supposed to work out, you know what I'm saying? With the whole Mozzie shit or whatever, but you know, I'd rather do this shit with my niggas anyway. Ain't no luck, ain't no bad blood towards the niggas. I fuck with them niggas. That nigga's still my favorite rapper to this day, you know what I'm saying? But shit, you know, shit just ain't work out. He got, he got to take care of his little niggas from his hood, you know what I'm saying? So I can't expect him to just, nigga, fuck with me on some music shit before he fuck with them. So I couldn't wait though, you know what I'm saying? I had to keep doing my own shit, so. Yeah. I rather like I said, I rather do this shit with my people and have my niggas around. Rather than being in a whole other state feeling by myself, you know what I'm saying? And still having to do shit by myself. I'd rather have my niggas around, so Yeah. Nigga, I hate I came back to this motherfucker at the end of the day. It's home, nigga shit. Yeah. I, I, but I, I left this motherfucker before so I know I can do it again, so Right. It's all about time, man. Uh so speaking of the niggas that you came back, you know what I'm saying, you said your peoples was here. Who who are the official members of the Glizzy Glock band? Uh, Bam Latin, nigga IV3, T3, the real T3, uh, Duck Nine, Toby, my nigga Toby, he the mascot. Toby the mascot, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Toby the mascot, but you know Toby got that Toby gonna sneak that thing in there, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, that's really it, though. You know what I'm saying? We ain't even that deep to be a gang, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's really all of us, bro. Honestly, you know? And shit, you know? Niggas, niggas kind of like tie they self in. Niggas tie they self in with the squeeze team and shit. You know what I'm saying? But that's more street shit. You know what I'm saying? That's more street shit. You ain't really going to get in all that because they come with the politics and all that. And you ain't trying to really bring none of that up. But as far as the Glock being... That's really about it, bro. Just this is niggas who love music, just trying to do music, but we still happen to be in the streets. So, like I said, that tried to form us into something that wasn't for shit. So, this band, are y'all a band, or does 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 band mean something else? <laughs> nah, you know we just, you know we just, it's Glock band. You know what I'm saying, niggas? The name kind of self-explanatory, I guess. I guess you can say we a band. That's what niggas want to say. Shit, no instruments except blocks, I guess, though. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, man, it's just a little click. I think, I think really, honestly, though, I, nigga, I made the song, but my nigga Bam had said that shit first in the song. Like, he was just like, everybody got a glizzy Glock band for real, shit. So I just ran with that motherfucker from there. Yeah, that's how we did that shit, bro. Right. Mm -hmm. you, you talked to, uh, you talked to Bam Laden lately? Man, I talked to him probably about, about a month ago, he ain't called me. I don't know what's going on, but shit, hopefully he'll be out soon. Like, you know what I'm saying? I talked to his brother not too long ago, so hopefully everything will be straight. You talked to Boo lately? Nah, nah, no, nope, nope. See, that's a, 
That's some whole other shit, you know. I really don't. Me and Boo don't really function like that no more. You know what I'm saying? Just politics and. You know what I'm saying? That's fucked up though, you know what I'm saying? Me and that nigga was supposed to do a lot of shit together though, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. Shit just went the other way though, but I ain't got no bad blood towards a nigga. I pray he get out of the situation. I don't wish that shit on nobody. But you know, you just don't fool with a nigga like that no more. Right. So I mean I heard I heard a lot I heard a lot about Bash, man, whether it's on social media or it's mouth to mouth, you know what I'm saying, the streets talk. To clear the air or not to clear the air, is there a message that you want to tell the town, you know what I'm saying, or, or what your standpoint is on just your reputation and, you know what I'm saying, what you got going? <laughs> Shit. Nigga, don't sleep on the nigga, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, I ain't gonna lie, I been, I be running into hell of people, they be like, damn. They be like, damn, man, you stop making music or whatever, but like I said, that's just how a nigga know a nigga really kind of dope with this shit, because it's only been like three months, though, you know what I'm saying? but. Like I say though, my only message is no, everybody better keep working and keep coming with some nice shit, nigga, cause all I'm waiting on is my video, man. That's all I'm waiting on, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's the video, man. Once the video, man, come through, it's popping. I'm shutting shit down. So, I'm just telling niggas keep working, because when I come, I'm on niggas' line. You know what I'm saying? All right. I think they know that already, too, so they been taking advantage of it. Take advantage of me not being able to shoot no video, they better. Got to. Man, I got one last question for you, man. Uh, you rapping, doing your thing right now. If Bash wasn't rapping, what would we catch him doing? Shit, probably what I've been doing, man. Thugging, but shit'll probably be way worse. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. Thugging, but shit'll probably be way worse. I ain't gonna lie to you. I fuck around. If I wasn't rapping, I fuck around. Been dead a long time ago. Yeah. I fuck around. Been dead or in jail a long time ago. So shit. Really, you know what I'm saying? It's all sign that we got. This the only thing a nigga ever really been good at. So I gotta put my all into this and pray something come out of this shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. So you know, but one more message though. Once again, the Glock gang ain't no gang. So y'all can quit trying to put us as a gang. You know what I'm saying? But you niggas know what time it is, man. You know what I'm saying? So click full of niggas and we working. I'm pushing that shit and I'm pushing this shit. I should be dropping a mixtape probably like two, three months because I still been doing hella music, just no videos though, you know what I'm saying? So just get prepared for the shit. I know I said that was the last question, but I got one more. So are you are you a free man as we speak? You know what I'm saying? Is anything tying you down or you know what I'm saying? You got any pendants? Yeah, that's what see, that's what's that's what kinda of fucked me up though, you know. That's another reason why I can't really, you know, why I just been working like that. These white people been cracking me though, you know what I'm saying? Shit, I uh you know, I'm kind of fighting a little case. They raided right my house or whatever. I'm fighting like a little pistol case and, and a weed case or whatever. And shit, that's about it. But I'm finna dismiss that. They said they was gonna dismiss that. I went to court two days ago, so they probably gonna dismiss that next time I go to court. So already. That's my mama right there. I'm doing the internet things. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, my mama them right there though. But we all good though. We keep rolling. There ain't nothing. Oh man, good talking to you. What's up, son? Come here. Come here. <laughs> Come this way. You gonna say what's up to the camera? Say what's up? Yeah, that's my son right here. Y'all you know what I'm saying? It's my little guy. He ain't worried about you and your phone like that. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, shout out to my nigga Youngie, man. Yeah, shout out to uh. I want to shout out artists shit. Shout out to Gang Cuddy. Shout out to that nigga. Shout out to my whole block band. Shout out to uh, everybody working, really. You know what I'm saying? I'm fucking with niggas, though. Anybody that drop, I'm listening to it. I'm checking it out. I just hope niggas support me the same way. You know, it's all I love. Yeah, I'm talking about nigga folks, too, man. And the whole still broke, all yeah. that, man. All that, man. On my mama, Fauci, Polio. Uh, my nigga, uh, Frank, Frankie. Nigga, all them. Nigga Cam, Lil yeah. Buddha. All them, I'm fucking with all them niggas. Shout out to my nigga Don Way. All them. If you need a bus, gun, hit up Don Way, man. Yeah, you know, we keeping that shit lit. Alrighty, man. Good checking in with y'all. Hopefully, we can get another one in. For sure. Soon. Shout out to Studio Go. It's all yeah. good. And, yeah. and me and Studio Go. Me and my nigga. Me and my nigga Vince got a song from the drop. Yep. So, yeah, y'all gotta be ready for that, nigga. I think that's really my next video. 
So yeah, niggas just be ready for that. Be looking out for that one. Y'all heard it first, man. Studio go. Studio go. He pulled up on me early this morning, bro. I don't know where he came from. Came from.